Recession warning signs are flashing, but the labor market isn't one of them. The economy keeps adding jobs at a healthy clip, as shown by the 372,000 workers that were hired in the month of June. Hiring appears solid in general, including the workers that tend to be most exposed to spending pullbacks like restaurant staff and temps. High inflation plus strong job growth will reassure the Federal Reserve, keeping it on track for another hefty three quarters of a point interest rate hike later this month. Please write this down, okay? By the end of July, we will see another three quarter of a point increase in interest rates, okay? So three quarters of a point is 0.75, or in the industry, we would call it 75 BIPs, okay? BPS. So for those of you that are not in the know as far as lingo, a three quarter point raise is 75 bips. A quarter point raise then would be what? 25 bips, okay? It helps when you guys are on the phone with people in the business to use industry jargon so that it sounds like you know what you're talking about. So another half a point hike is likely to follow in September. So we've got three quarters of a point or 75 bips by the end of July and another 50 bips happening by the end of September. Rates are currently at five and a half percent. I checked this this morning so that the information was as fresh as it could be. Five and a half percent is where we are at right now. By the end of September, we will be sitting at 6% interest. Now, to give you guys some, some points of comparison, a year ago, Rates were at 3.25 a year ago, which meant a $400,000 house would cost you $1,740 a month. By the end of September, with rates at six, a $400,000 house will cost you $2,398, or $657 more per month, or $7,888 per year. Which means you would need an $8,000 raise to qualify for a $400,000 house that you could have qualified for at your current income a year and a half ago. Why are you, why do I care? Because this is what our clients are experiencing, okay? On the education side, you guys, when we talk to our customers, they need to be aware that these rate rises are coming and they have to adjust their buy prices accordingly. Please write this down. In real estate, we make our money when we buy. Please write this term down. All of our clients need it. Even on the servicing side, our clients need to hear this. In real estate, we make our money when we buy. We realize our investment when we sell. We make our money when we buy. We realize our investment when we sell. Which means if you do not buy correctly, you will not make a profit when you sell. So we've been going over with our acquisition team. I've been going with trainings with them and saying, okay, you need to be explaining this to sellers that you're meeting with right now that the prices and the values that they're seeing on Zillow right now are from sales that occurred six months ago. Completely different market. We can't use the Zestimate as the gospel of value. You need to make an adjustment of about 20% to use Zillow value to today's prices. And when the rates increase, when the feds increase rates another 125 bips, by the end of September, prices are gonna come down even lower. Which means, if you're gonna be buying real estate to fix and flip right now, you need to buy properties that need minor cosmetic repair. Meaning, lipstick, get in, get out. The average turn right now on a flip should be three to four weeks maximum right now we turned down a deal last week because it needed it was lath and plaster it was knob and tube wiring it needed a new roof it needed all of these repairs that even with us as a professional renovation company would take six to four uh, three to four months to complete well what's the market look like three to four months from right now with rates rising at this pace very different okay so when you guys are on the phone with clients and they're saying hey i found this great deal it's only going to take me six months to renovate is that a good investment for them right now? No, okay? The investments our clients should be buying right now are minor cosmetic improvements that do not require pulling permits. Okay, apparently I need to tell you guys to write this down because very few of you did. 
And this is what our clients need to know. You invest in things right now that require minor cosmetic repair that don't require permits being pulled. Now, permits required, roofs, HVAC systems, electrical systems, plumbing systems, foundations, any type of expansion that's gonna require you to pour new footings and foundations. Also, the things that our clients should be avoiding right now is new construction, okay? New construction would be the wrong investment right now because rates are rising. So you have, the average home is gonna take nine months from the time you dig a hole to the time you can put a for sale sign up. Nine months is the average course of construction. What are rates going to be nine months from now? Okay, so you need to be getting in and getting out of stuff very quickly if you're flipping. Wholesaling preferred, wholetailing second, retail last.